Okay, today we're doing mod four, lesson 16. And today's um, standard, we're gonna be solving real world problems involving multiplication of fractions and mixed numbers by using fraction models or equivalents to represent the problem. Now, we're at the point now where we're really gonna have to use some tape diagrams because these are gonna be some harder problems, okay? Now, in Monday, excuse me, Tuesday's class, we're actually gonna be doing our, we're working with partner and we're solving word problems. So you'll have some assistance, but these are more difficult problems. So you need to really pay attention with the, with the tape diagram. So our lesson objectives is that you're gonna be able to solve word problems using tape diagrams and fraction by fraction multiplication. All right, so let's get started. First one says, Miss Anusko made 60 cookies for a bake sale. She sold one third of them and gave three quarters of the remaining cookies to students working at the sale. How many cookies did she have left? Now I'm telling you right now, I can't figure that out myself without doing a tape diagram. And if I just start plucking numbers out of there, I'm not gonna get it right. So you're gonna be surprised as we fill out this tape diagram, you're gonna see what you have to do in order to solve this problem, okay? So here we have our rectangle. Let me get my pen going here. And we know the total cookies she had were 60, 60 cookies. Now it says she sold one third of them. So I'm gonna take this and this is one third and she sold them. Next, says she, she gave three quarters of the remaining cookies. Now, this is where a lot of you get caught up. This is the remaining cookies. And we can see that's two thirds of the original cookies, okay? Now, where it says, she, she gave three quarters of the remaining away. So I'm gonna just come up here and do this. And I'm gonna split it into fourths. And I know that she, that there, which is three fourths of two thirds. And she actually, gave them away. So I'm just gonna write her gave away. So if you look at the tape diagram, what we really have, we have one fourth of the two thirds that were remaining. And this is what she has left. So what we're really solving for is what she has left, which is one fourth of two thirds of the remaining cookies. So let's come over here and let's see what we can do with this. We have one fourth of, which mean, no, means times two thirds. Now when we rewrite this, we know this is one times two over four times three. And I can see I have multiple of two on top and a multiple of two on bottom. So I can take two will go into two one time, two will go into four two times. Now I just multiply it out and one times one is one, two times three is six. So I know that she had one sixth of the all the cookies left. But I still don't know exactly how many cookies that is because I need to know what one sixth of 60, which was the total cookies. So when we write this, we have one six times 60 over one, because it's 60 cookies, which we write it as one times 60 over six times one. Now I could multiply this out, but I can see I have multiples of six. Six will go into six one time, six will go into 60 10 times. And I have 10 times one is 10, and one times one is one. So 10 over one equals 10 cookies. So she had 10 cookies left. Now, if you notice this tape diagram, it may not be pretty, but it helped me sort through how I needed to solve the problem. Let's try another one. Next one says, Joey Kim 
is icing 30 cupcakes. She spreads mint, ice cream, mint icing on one fourth of the cupcakes and chocolate on one third of the remaining cupcakes. The rest will get vanilla icing. How many cupcakes have vanilla icing? Now, once again, this here is a lot of information. So I'm gonna, once again, I'm gonna do my tape diagram. I'm trying to make it a little prettier this time. So we're gonna start off with 30 cupcakes. And it says she spends many mint icing on a quarter of them. I don't know why anybody would use mint icing, but that's our cupcakes, okay? So here we go. There's one quarter, and this was one quarter, and that was mint. That's one quarter of the, all the cupcakes. Now it says, it says that chocolate on one third of the remaining. Well, first off, what is the remaining? Well, if mint was one quarter, I can see that this here is my remaining. And fractional wise, if one quarter was mint, I know it has to have three fours have to be the remaining, okay? Now, if we look up here, it says one third of remaining cupcakes got chocolate. So I'm gonna come up here and I know one third of three fours got chocolate. Now I'm looking overall, so one third of three fourths, that means there has to be two thirds left. So two thirds of three fourths, and that is what got vanilla. So I can see that if I take two thirds of three fourths, it should give me how many got vanilla. So let's come over here, two thirds times three fours, which equals two times three over three times four. And I can see, I can take my threes out and two will go into two one time, two goes into four two times. So I end up with one half. So one half of all the cookies got vanilla. I wouldn't have done that way. But that's what can you say? So one half of 30 cookie, 30 cupcakes over one, because 30 over one equals 30. Now I can see I got multiples of two. So two into one time, two goes into 30, 15, which equals 15 over one, which equals 15 cupcakes. So 15 cupcakes got vanilla frosting. All right, the Booster Club sells 240 cheeseburgers. One third of the cheeseburgers had pickles. One third of the remaining burgers had onions and the rest of them had tomato. How many cheeseburgers had tomato? I don't know about you, but all my cheeseburgers would have pickles, onions, and tomato. But I don't know why they'd split it up. I don't know. But let's try it. So we know the total is 240 cheeseburgers. Okay. Now it says one third had pickles. So let's go ahead and make our one third. One third, and we'll write pickles, sir. Now it says one quarter of the remaining. Well, I know the remaining here is two thirds. So if I were to split these up in the quarters, I know this one here says one quarter of two thirds, and they had onions. And it says the rest had tomato. Well, what is the rest? Well, this is the rest. And that happens to be three fourths of two thirds. And they had tomatoes. So let's see how many had tomatoes. So we had three fourths of two thirds, which equals three times two over four times three. We know we can take our threes out because three goes on three one time. Now two goes on two one time, two goes on four two times equals one half. So half of them had tomatoes. So if we come back down here, we know overall we had 240 times one half, which is that's 240 over one, 
Well, two goes on two one time, two goes on 240 120 times. So that equals 120 over one equals 120 had tomatoes. All right, let's try our last problem here. Tishan is stored in his rock collection. Three fourths of the rocks are metamorphic and one third of the remainder are igneous rocks. If the four rocks left over are sedimentary, how many rocks does Deshaun have? Okay, so let's go ahead and put it into our tape diagram. Now, we don't know how many he has. That's what we're looking for. So we're gonna have to kind of work backwards on this one. So let's go ahead and put the information we have. It says three fourths, so I'm gonna make about three fourths here. Three fourths, and we know those are metamorphic. So that means the remaining here, this is one quarter of total. Because these are the remaining. Now of the remaining, it says one third. So I'm gonna split it into thirds. So one third of one fourth are igneous. Now, it says the four left over, there's four of them here left over, were sedimentary. Hmm, and we're still looking for the total. Well, if we notice, these are split up into thirds, the sedimentary ones. And it says four, so there'd have to be two rocks in each one of these. Okay, so since the last one, there would also have to be two here. So we can see just by looking at the picture, one fourth is going to be equal to six rocks. Well, he has four fourths. So six rocks times four fourths would equal, excuse me, times four there's four different sections would equal 24 rocks now notice we drew it out and we found out what in the four for sedimentary so since it was that quarter was split up into quarters thirds i mean we knew that each third was two and since that whole area was one quarter we knew that one quarter was equal to six. We have four quarters, so six times four quarters would have been 24 rocks. So now we know that he had 24 rocks total. All right, so we're gonna, on, on Tuesday, we're gonna actually work on some of these. So um, just make sure you have your notes you're going to notice that they're probably a lot like the same problems, but the numbers will be changed. Okay. All right. Hope you're having a good three-day weekend and we'll see you on Tuesday.